A few months back, one of you asked me to review the Broadlink Mini Universal Remote. So today I have it here. I'm gonna show you how to get it set up as well as how you can connect it with your Google Home or Amazon Echo to be able to control your TV or other IR connected devices. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So there are two different Broadlink universal remote adapters that you can get. So this one is the mini version. It costs about $26 and it supports IR devices. So your TV is controlled by IR. That's what your remote uses to turn it on and off. And so this is essentially like a IR blaster where it can send out those signals to quickly turn it on and off. Another option Broadlink offers is the RM Pro. So it is a little bit more, it's about $40. It offers changing IR devices as well as RF devices. So the radio frequency, and it has a little bit more of a range that it could go through into a different room for those frequencies. So like some of those devices here, I have a Sonoff Basic, but you could get a Sonoff Smart Switch that is RF controlled that it would be able to control. So those are the differences, but I only needed a device that can control my smart TV. I want it to turn it on and off and change the volume and maybe the inputs if I need to. So I decided to go with this one. So let's show you how I got it set up and how to pair it and use it with our smart assistants. Inside the box of the RM Mini 3, here you have the little device, I'm gonna to refer to it as the Broadlink Mini. You also get a cable, but you do not get a power brick. So you will need to get one from like an old phone or something. It just plugs right in the back. There you have a reset button. And then you also do get a little instruction manual. Now this can control all kinds of devices like set top boxes, TVs, AC units, audio, and more so uh, many devices that have IR. So I know air conditioners, your TVs, and many other devices, but today again, we're just going to be talking about TV. So they can be smart TVs, any other TV, old TVs. So to get set up, just plug this in, and then you will need to get your remote for your TV, so have that handy. And then you will also need to download two applications on your smartphone, so this will work on Android or iOS. Here we have the Broadlink eControl app, that will help you pair the device to your Wi-Fi and then set up the infrared sensors to your TV. And then here we have the IHC app that will help us to add it to our smart devices and so that we can use those commands. The first thing you need to do is to connect this to your Wi-Fi. So go into the eControl application and then you will want to add a device. So right here, you will see the plus. You just select the plus and then here you can add a device and then you would type in your Wi-Fi and your password and select configure and then plug this in and it should be blinking a blue light and then you will select configure and it will try to pair it together. If you receive a message that said the connection failed, you would then just need to go into the settings here and use AP mode. I found this to be the best way to work for me. So then all I had to do was long press the reset button and hold it down until the blue light started flashing really fast on the front. And then it asked me to do it again until it did a slow flash. Once I did that, I just selected okay. And then I went into my Wi-Fi settings, selected the Broadlink device, and then typed in my Wi-Fi and it paired together very seamlessly. And then I came back here to the application and then I had the device that I had added. So if you need more help doing that, let me know, maybe I can go into that, but since I've already set it up, I didn't wanna redo the whole thing. To double check to see if it is paired, you can go in the plus and select device list, and here you will see that it is there, it's called the e-remote, and then there it is saying it is connected to the Wi-Fi. Once you have done that, you'll need to select plus, and then you need to select add a remote. So then here are all the different options of things that you could choose, air conditioner, set top box, uh, curtains, if you have curtains, certain wireless light bulbs, roller shades, door locks, all kinds of cool stuff. And so here you would just select TV. And then here it's gonna pop up a controller. So then you would need to use your remote to pair to this remote on the phone what everything actually does. So if I select volume up, it's going to ask me to do that on the actual remote itself. So now I just need to press volume up on here and then it saved that successfully. So then I could select volume down 
and then there it saved it. Here, if I wanna turn it on, I press power, press power, and there it linked that to the broad link, hence link in the name. So then you would go through and add all those adjustments. Let's add one more, let's add the mute option. So then I select mute on the remote and we can do all that. So now you can test the functions once you have linked them. So if I wanna change the volume, I press the volume here, it is changing it over on the TV. If I select the power, it then turns off the TV just like that. So when you first go into the app, it will ask you to create a account. So I had already done that. So the next step is I am going to go into the IHC application and it will ask you to sign into your account, which I have already done. So then once you get into the application over here under the devices tab, you will see your Broadlink mini. I just select that and then here, you can add a certain appliance. So my TV wasn't actually showing up in here at the time. So then you would just select the plus down here and then you could add that TV right there and that's how I did that. So then once you're done, your TV pops up here and then you have the full control. So you can double check to make sure that everything works. I can turn the power on and there my TV did turn on. I can change the volume and then here I can change the source so everything is currently working on the TV, which is pretty awesome. So going back to the homepage, now we have our Broadlink device here. So we can see that the TV is connected there, or I've made a quick link right to the TV, and you can turn it on and off or change the channel right there. So then the next step you need to do is create certain scenes. So a scene will be an action you want to take. So here I want to create a scene where it is going to turn up the volume. So I could change the picture of the scene. I could change the name. So let's see, volume up is the name. We're gonna do volume double up on this one. Then I select save. And then here we choose what appliance. So here I want to control the TV. And then I want to change the volume up six. So I select volume once and then it added the volume go up once and then I need to add another one. So go TV, volume up, another one. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until I am done with however many volumes I want. The other one I have set already is set for three volumes up. So this one is going to be double volume up. All right, there you go. So then that is all I want this specific command to do. I'm going to select save. And then here we have a volume double up. I've also create ones that say TV on, TV off, volume down, and volume up. So now that we have our scene set up, we can then go into the settings and link our smart devices. So here I'm gonna go home, and then I'm going to go add, and then I'm going to say add voice service. So here for the Amazon Echo, it explains how you use it, but to get it set up, we just need to go into the Amazon Alexa application, and then we need to go and add the Broadlink skill. So there we have Broadlink remote control. We need to enable it, and we've already set up the app. So here I just need to put in my info. All right, and now Broadlink has been successfully synced. And then here we would want to select discover new devices. You could also ask your Echo to discover new devices, and it will do that as well. So now if we scroll down this list at the very bottom, you will see that I now have a TV with a little Wi-Fi symbol. This TV over here is my Fire TV Cube. But right here, if I select that, you'll see the description is via Broadlink. And so there it has been enabled. So now let's try it out. Alexa, turn off TV. Okay. And there you go, it turned off the TV. So now let's go and link our Google Home. So in the Google Home, you would just need to go into the home control settings, select the plus, and then you will need to find the Broadlink Smart Home. And so I have already linked that. So then once you sign into your account, you will then start to see all your linked scenes in here. So for the Google Home, I did have to create these scenes to get it to work as far as I understand. So there I have my TV off, TV on, volume up, volume down, and volume double up was automatically added. Hey Google, turn on TV. Sure, activating two scenes. 
So there you go, it turned on the TV. So now let's try my volume up options. Alexa, turn the volume up on the TV. Okay. And there it worked. Hey Google, activate volume double up. You got it, activating the volume double up. Hey Google, turn on volume down. Sure, activating the volume down. So a quick review, I did name the TV just TV so it knows what device to change. And so on the Echo, I just need to say turn on the TV or turn off the TV and it worked, as well as turn up the volume and turn down the volume. Over on the Google Home, I did need to create the different scenes. And then you can either say activate or turn on and then the scene name and then it would be able to control those and I'm pretty impressed that it can all be done with this little device for 26 bucks pretty awesome to be able to have that universal remote functionality and have the smart assistants uh, be able to control it so it definitely solved the solution I was looking for for a very inexpensive price now I will be doing a Harmony Hub review in a couple of weeks where it is able to control your entire home theater system where this one is more based on just just a one TV or device, that's what I'm going to be using it for. You could add multiple devices, but the Harmony Hub would be better for more devices all in one. Now this can work within 12 meters, so it does have quite a good range. Now I'm really excited to be able to have this little device that can quickly control my TV without having to upgrade to a smart TV. Um, this works on the TV upstairs that I use that does not have any smart functions, so it's really a perfect fit. Uh, I have a Chromecast on there, but it doesn't have the turn on and off solution. So this is definitely a perfect device to get and I'm so excited that it has the voice assistance integrated now. If you guys have any further questions about the Broadlink, I'm just learning how to use it but we can work together on trying to figure it out so let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos like this. I talk all about smart homes to smartphones and if you'd like to see more of the smart home tutorials, check out the playlist right here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.